What's up guys, Anthony with Real American Outdoors and today we're gonna to do a really quick Hummingbird tip of how to update your software on your Hummingbird unit. All right, go ahead and power up the unit. When you hit this option on the screen, it says press menu for startup options. So we're gonna go ahead and press the menu button. We're gonna scroll down to system status and press the right cursor. You're gonna go and look at your software version. So we have 1.4, which we know is lower than what is on the Hummingbird's website. And to confirm, we have a Helix 10 GPS G. N. So let's go and update it. All right, so once you get to the Hummingbirds website, go over to support, which is on the top right here, drop down support. You're gonna go down to software updates. Then once this page comes up, you're gonna find the model that you're using. So we're obviously, we have a Helix 10 series. We're gonna go down to a GPS sonar model and this is the G2N version. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that, bring it up. And this is the current software they have right now is the 2.280 so we know that is higher than what is currently on there so let's go and update it and go ahead and click this right here it brings you right to the update page this is going to call if your base map version is in up to date you need to update that also but ours is currently up to date so we're going to scroll down here and hit download software and now you can see that it's downloading. Sometimes it can take a little longer depending on your Wi-Fi connection or your internet connection. Once it's done you're going to go ahead and hit that arrow right here. Hit show in folder. Once you hit show in folder, it's going to bring you up your downloads. There is our GPS G2N download. All right, so I personally use a 32 gigabyte SD card. They're going to want you to use a 32 or smaller uh, class 10 SD card. So this Humminbird units take the full size SD card. So if you do have the micro, you just need to put it into the uh, full size SD card. All right, once you install your SD card into your computer, uh, it's going to come up as removable disc. Mine is labeled as removable disc B, I believe. So I'm going to open it up and it is blank. So you want to make sure it's a blank SD card. So what we're going to do, we're going to get the SD card side by side. So here's the SD card that's into the computer right now. It is empty. And here is our download update. So I'm going to go ahead, click and hold, drag over to the SD card and I'll let it go. It's going to take a little bit. Uh, depending on your internet connection and the size of the update. This is going pretty quickly. So once it is all good, here in a second, we are all copied. Go down to your removable disk, right click on that and hit eject. You're gonna get a little thing in the corner that comes up as safe to remove the SD card. Go ahead and remove it and we are good to go update. Once you confirm that you need to update your software, we need to restore your defaults on your unit. So I already removed my Lake Master map card, remove any other cards you have on here. Uh, go ahead and hit menu twice, slide over to setup and down to restore defaults. Right cursor, right cursor. All right, now that your defaults have been restored, you have an updated card, and all the other Lake Master cards or any other SD cards are removed, it's time to update your software. So go ahead and install the card into the card slot. We're gonna hear a click. The Helix will recognize it, and here it is. So it says replacing software version 1.4 with the one we wanna update, 2.28. So yes is to the right cursor. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit right. And this says abort software update to version 2.2. So I know I've gotten confused on this before and I know other people have too. You're not just hitting yes again to confirm the software. You don't want to abort the software, so you want to hit no. So you're gonna hit left cursor and it is currently updating. Go ahead and leave the power on, follow the instructions. Just whatever you do, don't turn the power off on the boat because it could damage the Helix unit or whatever Hummingbird unit you're fixing to update and you don't want to have to send it back to the factory. So now that it's cycled through, it's restarting the unit itself. All right, let's go ahead and confirm the update. I'm gonna go ahead and hit menu for the startup options, down to system status like before, and we have a 2.280 as our system uh, software version. So we are good to go. All right, guys, that is it. That is how you update your software on your Humminbird units. Uh, it's similar for all the other uh, Solix and Apex units also. Um, if you have any more questions, please leave it in the comment uh, section below. We'll go ahead and answer them the best we can. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, it's May and fishing is in full swing right now. We have the American Fishing Challenge Big Bass uh, Challenge, which is a five month tournament uh, that has started along with our division series. So go ahead and find your state's division and go ahead and tournament fish against other 
other states in your region. Uh, those are month-long tournaments uh, along with all of our Wisconsin anglers or anybody wanting to fish Wisconsin waters only. We have the Wisconsin Fishing League. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you next time.